Today we have Apostle Charles Samlenge, founding pastor and apostolic leader of Eagles Wings Ministries International, who will be treating a relationship series. We are so much excited for him to share with us his knowledge, his research, and what the Lord has given to him. So I hope you will also be blessed and you will also learn and grow as we take this journey together. Add more flavor. Welcome to Purpose for Living. Today we're going to discuss relationships, especially in the context of the family, because the family is very important, very key in terms of building relationships. Relationships actually are links to every form of success in life. Success cannot be achieved in a vacuum. Usually you succeed because of others around you. Others around you are key in taking you up or taking you down in life. So today we're going to discuss uh, relationships in that context. We're going to start by really talking about the family because the family is a place where we learn how to relate. It's the first place actually where we learn how to relate with others. Family is a very, very important institution in society. Uh, it actually is defined as the basic unit of society. In other words, we learn from a family every other relationship. In other words, family gives us definition in terms of how we relate with others. When God created man and put him in the garden, uh, God said it's not good for a man to be alone, and he made sure that he brought Eve to him as a helpmeet so that they start a family together. And from that, from that point, we can see that uh, from the family, every other human being is released. So today, uh, like I said, we're going to discuss family. Family as a basic unit in society. Actually, we'll start by saying a family is uh, a formation center for human relationships, meaning it's a place where we learn how to relate with others. First, The first concept of relationship, we learn it from the family our brothers, our sisters, our moms, our parents, our cousins, uh, our uncles, our grandparents, uh, from the way we relate with them, then it gives definition to every other relationship that we have later. The family is a form formation center. Number one, this is what you have to know. The family is a for formation center for every human relationship. Formation, that word formation means the act of giving form or shape to anything. In other ways, our relationships are shaped first and foremost from what we learn in the family context. A family is where certain mindsets, behaviors, mannerisms, attitudes are shaped, especially in the context of relationships. So right now, as I'm speaking to you, you know the way you think, the way your, man your mannerisms, the way uh, your attitudes are built. Most of the time, if you look backwards, you discover that actually you got that from your family relationships because a family is a formation center. So simply giving, uh, uh, simply understanding that will help us, especially when you're a parent, you're a mother, uh, you're a father, you realize that whatever you put in the children, you're forming them for future relationships. So it's very important as, a, as, as parents, actually, how we deal with children because that's where they learn how to relate with others. So a family is a formation center for human relationships. This is where our mindsets are created, and this is how we do, how, where we learn how to. In other words, in a family situation, uh, a mother, a father, the words they speak, the actions they, 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 they show forth, the things they do, it, it will either show the child on how to relate with others in a positive way or in a bad way. So parents, it's very, very important that the words you speak around your children and the actions that they see in you, that those actions are positive in terms of other relations that they'll build later on in life. Number two, the family is a place where we first get understanding and learn that people are significant and people are important and people are worthy while. And that's a place where we learn that a person has got purpose in life. In other ways, the first learning of the worthiness of human being or the importance or significance of human beings, we learn from the family. So in other ways, if you grew up in a family where there's no value put on human beings, 
it will bring problems later in relationships. We have people that uh, 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 attack and abuse others because of what they learned in the family situation. For instance, in families, if the mother and the father in that home are always violent, are always fighting, most likely the children will learn those habits and mannerisms. So a family is a place where we first get to understanding and learn that people are significant, people are worthy, people are important. So it's important for parents especially, when you're training your children, to show them that human beings are key, they're important, they are worthy, they're significant, and every other human being is God's purpose on planet Earth. The third thing that we can discuss, especially concerning family, as a formation center, is that a family is where we learn about togetherness, uh, belonging to one another. Uh, affecting each other positively, uh, being compassionate to one another, and concerned about each other's welfare, and where we are interested in each other's happiness and joy. So in a family, is a place where we learn togetherness. In other words, the concept of unity, uh, togetherness, compassion, love, tender care, uh, a friendship, is a family where we learn all these concepts. So number three, that is a place where we learn togetherness. Number four, a family is a place where we learn unity in diversity. Unity in diversity. You realize that as you grow up, you, you meet different kinds of people out there. And that too, in a, if you have learned di diversity in a family already, knowing that your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, that to the individuals, but they're, they, they're diverse, they're different, dif different giftings, different purposes, it will give you the, really a, the idea on how to relate with other people because people are different. In other words, you have to accept the difference in others. And you learn that at family level. The family is a place where we learn unity in diversity. And that's a place where we learn not just diversity, but individuality. That's where we grow as individuals, as a person, where someone begins to understand who they are. Actually, Jesus said it this way. You cannot love your neighbor before you love yourself. One of the commandments in, in, uh, in, in the Bible is that love your neighbor as you love yourself. In other words, first and foremost, you have to learn to love yourself. In other words, understanding your individuality. Though there's diversity in family, but you still also have to understand that you're an individual that fits in, in the diversity around you. No human being is the same like the other one. So it's very, very important as an individual uh, that grew up in a family to accept diversity because you will find this even in the workplace, in your business uh, uh, endeavors, in your profession, at school, you discover that there are different types of people, different mindsets. So if in a family situation, we begin to learn diversity and individual capacity of each person in the family. Your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, you realize that they're different human beings. They're differently gifted, different purposes in their lives, different strengths. Uh, so, but if we learn that in the family, you will discover that you will flow easily with other relationships. So a place where we learn unity in diversity and individuality is a family. It's very beautiful to look at the family, you know, we, your sisters, your brothers, your uncles. Just the diversity is the beauty that God has created. So in a family, we learn to honor, to respect the difference in others. Just because somebody is different from you doesn't necessarily mean they are wrong. It's because they're just different. And they're just unique in their own way. That's how God has created them. So in a family, the reason why you've got brothers, sisters, uh, is because that's where you learn the difference. The diversity that is there in a family situation. Uh, number five, one of the things that we need to discuss as we are building up this uh, basis about relationship is that the family is a place where we may first learn the challenges of life. The challenges of life. Because life has got ups and downs. Life has got challenges. And one of the areas that we learn in the family situation, especially about challenges of life, is that sometimes we encounter in a family broken marriages, smashed homes, splintered relationships, shattered families. These common norms that even we see today in life, they help us also in a family situation to begin to, to build capacity to deal with challenges or crises or things that rise up because they rise in families. You can have a challenge with your mother, you can have a challenge with your sister, you can have a challenge with your father, 
So those crises, they teach you also to come to a place where you realize, yes, there are issues in life, there are problems in life, and you begin to learn the capacity to handle critical situations or, or, or problems or challenges that has to do with broken relationships in a family. You will realize that uh, you may come to a place of differences with your brothers, with your sisters, your mother, your father, your uncles, your cousins, but from that, from that position, you begin to realize that, okay, this I may find even out there in the world, in other relationships. And then you build the capacity to deal with challenges because every relationship has got challenges. There's no relationship that just flows swiftly and nicely. All relationships have got challenges. So the family uh, unity is a place where you begin to learn how to deal with challenges or differences or arguments or even conflicts that arise in any given relationship. No matter how much you love each other as a family, you're going to have conflict. You're going to have uh, situations. You're going to have differences. You're going to see things in different ways. So in a family situation, it's going to help you uh, to learn how to deal with conflict because conflict will rise at every level of relationships that you're going to encounter in life, whether it's business relationships, it's church relationships, uh, or whether it's a professional relationship, you're going to have conflicts. And from that family level, uh, we begin to learn how to deal with that. Why am I bringing this? Because whenever we fail to learn at family level, then we have been set up for fail and defeat in, in other relationships that are in front of us, that will meet in the future. So it's very, very important that we understand that. Number six, a family is a place where we learn about order, structure, boundaries, and even responsible freedom. In a family, you will learn about issues of order. For instance, you learn that there's a father, there's a mother, there are brothers and sisters. You learn family structure. Uh, Paul puts it this way. Uh, the, uh, God is the head of Christ. Christ is the head of the, the husband. The husband is the head of the wife. So it's a structure, it's order that you find. And in, in most places, a child that did not learn order at home, they're going to have problems of protocols at workplace, protocols in business, protocols in, in different relationships, even at church. They won't even know to, how to recognize authority or structure or order in terms of relationships. Every relationship has got order, has got freedoms, has got structure, has got boundaries. For instance, in, if you're going to build relationships, you need to know that the, in, when somebody is an individual, you don't cross over individual really, uh, boundaries. You cannot just do whatever you want. Just because this person is your friend, then you think you can do any, anything you want to do. There are boundaries. There are individual boundaries in any relationship. So a family, uh, basic uh, unit of society is where you learn about order, about structure, about boundaries that are there in relationships. And I mean about responsible freedom. Because you have to be, you have to uh, have freedom, but freedom has got accountability and it's got responsibilities. And then you have to also understand government and order in terms of relationships. So a family teaches you authority, teaches you protocols of life, uh, teaches you how to live an orderly lifestyle. So it's very important that we understand family, especially those uh, couples that are married. As we are dealing with these points, you also have to check your life. Check exactly what's going on in your family. Uh, are you bringing up those children uh, in, this, in, in this manner whereby with understanding that actually you are shaping future. You are shaping the future in these children and you are shaping the way they will relate with others later. So it's very, very important. I'm going to reiterate again on these points. Number one, family is a formation center, meaning it's a place where uh, our character is shaped, our mindsets are shaped, our behavior is shaped. It's a formation center. Whatever goes wrong at that level of a family can actually be projected in any other relationship later in life. Number two, again, uh, I'm reiterating on this before I just wind up the whole thing in terms of uh, this, uh, this foundational session. Um, uh, uh, a family is a place where we get understanding and learn that people are important, people are significant, and that we must honor people and we must respect people and that every human being has got a purpose on this life, on this planet. That's how a family is. A family is also where we learn togetherness, 
coming together in unity, where we learn to belong to each other, where we learn to show compassion, where we learn the ups and downs, where we learn failures, where we share the pain. That's a family. Oh, we share the successes and the failures and the pain. That's a family. A family is also a place where we learn unity in diversity and also where we capture or begin to embrace our individuality. A family is a place where we learn how to deal with crisis, uh, broken uh, situations, uh, shattered situations, where we deal, where we learn how to deal with crisis and challenges of life. Finally, a family is a place where we learn order, when we learn, we learn structure, where we learn boundaries and, and accountability in a place of freedom. So these concepts are very important in a family make situation. Because from a family point of view, then we we are able to grow in any other relationships or friendships that we meet out there, especially when we come to a place where we also choose life partners. Now, looking at these points, I want to give you a challenge. You go back in your mind or in your memory lane, see if these concepts are of family have been built up in your life. If not, it's very important that you look at your life and see how right now you are relating with others. It could be because of your family background. It could be because of the way you grew up. Maybe you, when you were growing up, you grew up in a dysfunctional family. And now you're carrying that culture in, in every other relationship, whether it, it be business, it be professional, it be church, it be school. Maybe right now what is affecting your relationships is because of your family background. Let me tell you something. It's never too late. You can look at that, put a finger on what went wrong and begin to correct it. By the grace of God, I tell you something, you can start afresh. You can start afresh building uh, uh, the concept of relationships, especially from the family point of view. As you do that, may God, the God of grace, help you and give you grace to become something, someone very important in life and someone that is able to affect other people around you in a positive manner. God bless you.